Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of God of War 2018 with Kratos, Atreus, and Mimir. Quick heads up. Um, I'm still haven't exactly fully adapted to my new glasses. I'm gonna give it one more week and if that doesn't happen, I'm gonna try to get new ones. Um, second thing I want to mention is yesterday I spent 20 hours in the emergency services of my local hospital. It was very hard. I've been having daily stomach pains. So now I'm taking medication. So please excuse me if I'm not exactly on top of my game. Uh, pun intended, I guess? So that's really what I wanted to to you know like to just just put it out there. Uh, if I sound off, if I if I seem off. All right, Atreus. Let's continue. Um. Now, in terms of my vision with these new lenses, sometimes it feels that I'm seeing better other times seems that everything is like freaking weird and wavy that seems the way to go let me just kind of just my here okay boy before when you saw I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. I think he's lying. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Now, I could go for the optional uh, realm because we have that rune or we have that whatever the cipher I'm not sure what it was, so So, as I said it before, main story, once that's done, I'll decide. Baron, why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? He is. It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Balder and Freya, I... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Hey, tell me Baldur's vulnerability. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, from back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad? You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Ugh. Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. Alright, here we go. Oh, wasn't this the one? It must have been. Yeah, it was. Okay. Hi! Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo -gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. How well the item with scaps like. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. 
And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scab slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrists loose. No, you keep your wrists loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? I don't need to. I triple quenched it with Drago. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. Downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weepy. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. My brother and me got a new project. Now that we're on speaking terms. All right. What do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brock and I can construct the Devegrathiker, dwarven armor of legend. We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Which are? Don't know. Armor's pure legend, and the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. You expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Mozognir the Dwarf King found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konungsgard. And looky here, a Konungsgard entry stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. What? The uh, stronghold's northwest of here, behind the Svartalfheim realm tower. Large stone structure, creepy atmosphere. You'll know it when you see it. Okay. The Huldra brothers, back in action again. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Ever think I'd see such a day we was back to building as a duo? But it feels right, especially for this. Been so used to building on my own all these years, almost forgot how dang useful an extra pair of hands is. I forgot how much easier it is to smelt scap slag with someone else gauging the temperature. All right, they're done. Here we go. Wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of those. All right, so for this, I need to go to Le to Niflheim, which is a boring as a uh, post game area that I know What's it gonna be? won't be nothing cuz man you hitting the road or chewing the fat I guess I'm gonna check out what these guys want uh here So I could go there, I guess. Wait, Forgotten Caverns or... Ruins of, ruins of the Ancients. Well. Oh, what is... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's try to do that. 
Hopefully I can use this again. Uh, I think it's better this one. Right? I hope so. I'm confused. Oh god. I always heard that Baldur's mother was Frigg. Aye, Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved. Something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. How so? Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right. Freya was Baldur's mother all along. <sighs> oh god. Frigg was Freya all along, Baldur's mother, Odin's wife. It's so hard to imagine her with the Aesir gods, but I've seen it with my own eyes now. <sighs> Where am I? Oh, okay. I'm glad Brock and Sinji were able to work out their differences. Now they are twice as irritating. Oh, I think it's nice to see them trust each other again. All right. Is it this way? Well, okay. Come here. Why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the giant kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, and victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust, but they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magics, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. Okay. Look, all right. So you want me to go there? Uh, I want to climb this first. What will I find here? Oh. What is that? What in the fuck is that massive thing? Yo! What is that? Fight. Oh, 
Okay, what is this? The other wolver gets a lot faster after he starts howling. This one seems to get a lot stronger. We should be really, really careful after this one starts howling. Alright. What is this? And goddamn. Thank you. Still, what is this? I have no idea what that is. Alright. Okay, let's try to light that up. Okay, that's good. A chest. I think this is money. It is. Oh, and stuff. Alright. I'm gonna wait so that uh, Treya's special uh, fills up. Oh, I have rage too. If I need it. Treya's? What? to go. Done. Thank you. Alright. What up? These travelers must be a paranoid bunch because they keep a huge shield on their back that will deflect any attempt to backstab him. Another name. Ulrum. Why the arcane rooms? Perhaps we're meant to find something in Muspelheim and Niflheim. I don't fucking like it. I mean, Muspelheim, yeah, sure. But Niflheim, I heard it's really boring. Like, really boring. Alright, I'm going back down. Ah, oh, my nose. Boom, boom. King's Hollow. Come here. You never told us what Magni and Modi had to do with Kronia. Oh yes. Well, what happened after Kronia fell slain upon Thor was that nobody in the court could get the stone body off of him. Thor was no use at this point. His brain rattled, his breath shallow. But none of Odin's men were nearly strong enough to help. Then enter little Magni and Modi. No taller than shrubs. 
And while nobody but myself was looking, they flipped over Hrunia's corpse and freed their father. Magni, being blonder, got all the credit, and Modi remained bitter about it from that day to the end, which I don't need to tell you about. Okay. Huh. Here we go. I heard it. I hear them. Go for it, little man. It says, Glory to Motsignir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. And may his death be swift. Sorry, that's just me babbling about The Last of Us 2. Alright, Motsignir's throne. After many winters, the stronghold of Conan's guard is complete. Motsignir has invited all citizens to attend the grand ceremony in the throne room. There we await the calming words of our king, who promises everlasting safety and prosperity. This new land is even more fertile than Rithergard. And with Regan as our stalwart sentry, we fear not from the river, dark elf, nor any malevolent force. The reign of King Motsignir is truly blessed by Tyr himself. All hail the Dwarf King, protector of man. Huh. Sounds like they actually like this Dwarf King. The people in Vedergard sure didn't. I wonder what changed. Speaking of things... Skills. I forgot about this. Alright. What is you? I don't know what that is. Oh, wait. Hold on. Boom. I mean, that's kind of shitty. That, like, they... Ugh, okay, whatever. Let's move on. Let's move on. What up, buddy? Greetings, and welcome to Conan's Guard. Thank you. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. Mm -hmm. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. Okay. I can do whatever you need. I'm sure that's right. Nope, that's fine. Thank you. Whoa. Look, it's another dragon. Where? I see it, boy. I don't. Cain. Where? I hope we can find the binding signs. Where this the fuck? This place is huge. Dude. Oh, there you are. What the fuck? Okay. Well, let's do this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Almost there. 
This stupid asshole. Fucking hate that. Don't you just hate that, Atreus? Stupid asshole. Stupid fucking asshole, man. Like, what time is it? I can't make noise now, man. It's too late. That fucking scared me. What a dipshit. No, okay. This is just a, a, a false... Let's put it that way. Uh, I don't know. Path. Wait. Oh, God. So... Okay, I must be nuts, because I could swear I saw, like, a rope. I think I saw... Alright, it's official. I'm fucking nuts. Not a very welcoming place, is it? No. No, that's not it. Where did I see the rope? Fuck, did, was it that? Man, I don't know. Man, I'm going nuts. Anyways. I ran out of the t I ran! Oh god. <laughs> I ran out of time for this episode. So I'm gonna stop it right here. Thank you so much. God damn it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.